Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little Nate at night action. The lights are off, but that's because the market is off as well. EA basically just turned this market off today. You're looking at these prices right now on the screen and you're thinking, wait a second, wasn't this Ronaldo card just like 8 million coins? Yes, it was. Wasn't this Neymar card just 10 million coins? Yes, he was. Today, EA dropped, actually yesterday, EA dropped batch three items and packs and a lot of stuff tanked. But today, it went even a step further with Weekend League Rewards. Weekend League Rewards absolutely killed the market today because EA is putting stuff out on the market at almost, a, it seems, a free will. I'm gonna scroll through the Ultimate Tots squad over here on Footbin and show you guys some of these prices that have absolutely tanked off the face of the earth. All you guys know this. All you guys know what's going on. Um, but this is just gonna be a good old market talk video for you guys today. Probably one of the last ones of FIFA 19. But look at this price drop off. 881K for Pepe. He's 152K. 152K. Before rewards last night, he was 160. Rewards happens, 135. And he has rebounded back up. A lot of the lowest point for a lot of these usable meta team of the season cards was that point of rewards. 99 team of the season Messi is 1.7 million coins. How crazy is that? He was 2524. Even 2 million this morning dropped down to 1.7. 98 rated Royce. I could keep going through examples of this throughout the entire market. Royce was 1.9 million. He's down a million coins. Check this out. Look at his graph. 1.1 mil. I mean, he was already cheap. He's already been cheap since they just dropped him in packs. But so many of these cards have just absolutely died in price over the last couple of days. And specifically uh, yesterday. Actually, I just saw something in there that I need to go revisit. 96 rated Quagliarella is 53,000 coins. 53k for this card. A 96 rated card. Team of the season cards, basically any usable card in the game has absolutely just destroyed itself on the market. Everything is low, everything is cheap beyond belief. Um, if you wanted to upgrade your team, if you had coins at the ready, now is a perfect time to do that. I'm definitely gonna be trying out some of these team of the season cards. Um, but a lot of people wanna know like, when do I buy these? Is this the lowest that we're gonna see for these cards? Um, and what about footies? Uh, because we got a huge footies vote today with Hazard and with Griezmann. And I want to talk about both of those as well. But first, I want to keep going on the trend of this market and what is just what is happening on this market right now. Basically, EA has turned up the pack weight and they've given out a lot of packs through the store. And of course, with Weekend League Rewards last night, it is just so very easy to pack walkouts. There's 300 plus special cards and packs right now. Just to see what we get, I'm gonna open a 25,000 coin pack with coins. We don't get a walkout, that is disgraceful. Uh, but I wanna show you guys my transfer list here for a second as well. Because last night I opened up about 300,000 coins worth of um, 7.5K packs. Actually it was about 200,000 coins. I opened up like 200,000 coins worth of these 7.5K packs and I almost made my money back because I packed like five or six team of the season cards um, even like ones to watches that are in packs right now, they okay, quick sell for 10K. So if you pack one of these, one of those in one of these packs, it's not even a walkout. Um, you're easily making your money back from that pack just because uh, they quick sell for like 9K value. So if you're looking for something to do on this game and EA is not giving us upgrade packs, you can just go in here and rip 7.5K packs with coins and test your luck. Do, do a few, man. You know, do a few. Just try it out. Try it out, it's kind of fun, you know? This is the end of FIFA, it's time to have fun. Some people don't like this. My TP, I don't care, I hit top 100. I was in like 70 something position. I'm not worried about losing TP for this either. I'm not gonna go crazy on these packs, obviously. But this is almost a way to make coins. If you have lucky pack luck, if you just, if you hit the luck correctly, you could very easily um, make money from opening 7.5K packs. So I wanted to say that, and also show you my transfer list from some of that stuff that I uh, did actually pack. I packed Lacazette today from the Pogba SBC. I packed Dembele from the Pogba SBC. 
I packed Allison from Pogba, uh, Trap, Kostic I packed from completing Richarlison, and Weak and League Rewards packs, I packed a couple of these high-rated guys as well. Um, let's talk about this for a second as well. I packed this today from a 25k pack with coins. This was an SBC card, and EA messed up, put it on the market, so that's interesting um, with that. But again, this is basically what I wanted to get on this video and talk to you guys about today. If you want to try a Team of the Season card, let's say that you've been looking at um, Team of the Season Lala, for example. Team of the Season Lala, you guys are going to just... 92,000 coins for this card. 92k! Di Maria is a card that I've wanted to try all year. He's 99k. I'm going to go buy him and try him out. Tiago Mendes. People love this card at CDM. Brazilian, great links. 52k. It is crazy how much some of this stuff has dropped in price. Even some of the big boys, like Neymar. Look at this price. This is probably the biggest drop of all. 10 million coins. He's His price has been cut in half. How crazy is that, you know? That's how crazy it is when stuff goes back into packs like this. Um, I mean, Tots9 going for 396k. He was, he was lower than that earlier. Cancelo for 158. Um, just there, all these... All these cards that were like 300k when this Tots was out, when this Syria Tots was in packs, they're all 26,000 coins. It is unreal. Um, now, when are these cards going to be their cheapest? That kind of depends. EA could very easily put an SBC out in the next couple of days, a bundle SBC on the market. They could very easily put an SBC out like that, and these cards could drop again, another, you know, 5%. It could be very easy for EA to put out another bundle SBC and these cards would drop another 5%. I want to buy Hyunmin Sun to try for my team. I think he could easily be 900k Sunday night because people are going to see these prices. They're going to sell some stuff, especially if we have like a Hazard SBC out. Remember the sell-off that we saw when Pogba came out? When we saw Pogba come out, there was a lot of people that sold cards to go complete that card. People are going to do the same thing for Hazard. Like Even if it's an expensive SBC, um, people are going to do that. So if you're wanting to really try to find the best time to buy some of these TOTS cards, I would wait until Sunday night, see if we get any more pack supply over the weekend from an SBC, and of course see what other squad building challenges that EA releases, especially the footies hazard, which is what I want to talk about next. By the way, this TOTS upgrade pack, this, this is a basically irrelevant SBC in my opinion now, because if you want a player, you just got to go use him. Like... If you look at how many Team of the Season cards are under the price of this SBC, this SBC still costs you about 100,000 coins, like 95k. The amount of cards that have gone from above that value to now below that value is insane. So many cards were in like the 300k uh, range, now they're below. Tots Lala, 450, 500k, 500,000 coins, he's now 92k. There's This SBC is not worth it. If you want a Tots player... Just go try him out, honestly. Just go try him out, and you're going to have better luck packing other players from just doing SBCs in the store. Doing, like, the ribbery SBC just because you get the packs back. Doing Do marquee matchups, for goodness sake. A lot of the stuff is expensive in there because people know there's packs. Do league SBCs. Do whatever you need to do to get some packs because right now is when the, right now is the best time to open packs in FIFA Ultimate Team ever, all year. It's what... It's amazing. Open packs. That's all I'm going to say. Have fun. Have fun with the game and open packs. But I do. I did mention Hazard, and I want to talk about him a little bit more. I think he's going to be pricey, uh, or pricey, compared to a Pogba SBC similar to that value-esque. He's going to be probably 97 rated. I don't think it's going to be at the same level of his tots, but we'll have to see. It is going to be a Real Madrid card. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be striker or left wing, but we'll see. What I can tell you guys is a lot of these cards are low. Even last week when Pogba was out, these cards were low. Special cards were low. They rose. All right. Now I want you guys to kind of look at this again. And there are definitely some decent ways you can stock your club. Look for some of these 87 rated players at 15K and below. Look at some of the 86 rated players at like 12K. Um, I think the 87s and the 88s that are this cheap have more room to rise. Especially if they're La Liga. You can look at La Liga, look at Real Madrid. Like this Nacho Fernandez card is 16,000 coins. Uh, let me go pull him up really fast over here. Flippin says that he has 16,000 coins for the road to, Fernando, road to the final Nacho Fernandez card. Which I lost a lot of coins on earlier this year during uh, Champions League play. 
15K. I'm going to buy that and I'm going to throw it in the club. 87 rated card for 15,000 coins. If you need a Real Madrid player for that Hazard SBC, I could see this card even if it goes to 20K. Even if it goes to 20K, that's um, some decent value on the pack's back from that SBC right there. Um, maybe another shout could be this Gerard Moreno 88 rated card. Uh, it says 19,000 coins for him right now. How much is he? How much is this Gerard Moreno card in FIFA Ultimate Team? Is he 19K? 18,000 coins. Boom. Little 1K undercut right there. Cheeky buy, all right? Stuff like that. Just, just do a little bit of a club stock on the 86 and above because other than that, I see a lot of this stuff just being a little bit overpriced still. Maybe a Howler card, 19K looks good to me. Uh, Banega, you can might be able to find his Tots card for a I would see a Team of the Season requirement coming from this as well. That's why I would like Banega as an 89 rated. Uh, maybe Theo Hernandez, a center back uh, foot birthday card. And even some of these 85 rateds. Uh, Carvel Hall for 11,000 coins. He is a gold card. But 11,000 coins for Carvel Hall is, I mean, look, he goes up to 15K for SBCs. He's been way higher for 20K. If, if you need a Real Madrid player, um, if you see this guy get to like 10,000 coins flat, I think that's a screaming buy. Um, same thing with Marcos Asensio. Same thing for him, even Koke. A lot of these um, La Liga dudes, Vidal maybe even for like, um, for like 10K flat. There's going to be a lot of options if you want to do a club stock for this. Just get some of these players in your team and get ready for that hazard card because a lot of people are going to want to do it. I don't think the demand is going to be as big as Pogba, but it's going to be huge. Um, and the best thing about these stuff that I'm telling you to invest in right now or to club stock in is uh, also that if Griezmann wins, it's going to be like the same requirements. Some of the requirements are going to overlap. You'll probably have some team of the season player requirements that will overlap, some La Liga player requirements that will overlap. So that's why I'm telling you guys to look at some of those cards because I think that is a very possible scenario and a likely situation. Oh my gosh, Sun just keeps dropping. I almost bought him at 950 because that was a nice undercut. Look at 925 now, unreal. Unreal, this Neymar, I'm not really looking to buy, I'm just looking to have him, I'm just kind of watching his price. But yeah, boys, um, look at some of those cards. Anything under that rating, I'm not a huge fan of. I know that some of the 84s are low, but I'm only Jimenez I'm kind of a fan of. I'm just a little bit a fan of, of Jimenez at 5,600 coins, if that is his true price. He, he usually chills around 6,000 coins, you can see. So if his price is actually around that right there, Unassigned Jimenez is going to be very, very happy if he still has coins. How much is he right now? Is he that, is he at that price? No, he's not. See, people are buying this card up. That's a glitch on Footbin's on parts. 6,300 right there. I bet Unassigned Jimenez is actually buying them all. But if you see this card, again, under 6,000 coins, this is one of the center backs that you need for chemistry in an SBC. And with a lot of people throwing in team of the season cards, people fill out an 86 or an 87 rated squad with a lot of 83s and 84s because they have some 90 rated or 88 rated or 89 rated team of the season cards to add into that squad. So I wanted to bring you guys some of that information today because I feel like the SBC is gonna be a popular one. Um, it's gonna be a popular one. A lot of people are gonna go on and do it and I want you guys to be prepared for it. And I know a lot of you guys also probably want to do that Hazard SBC as he is gonna be joining uh, or he has joined the ranks of Real Madrid. So I'm excited to see what happens with that. And of course, the market is just absolutely crazy right now with all these cards being so cheap. For goodness sake, if you have a card on your team that is like tanked in price, don't go sell it. Don't go sell it. Just chill. Hold the card. Play with it. Have fun. Exactly. Like this Lacazette card. I packed him today. He was like 900,000 coins last week. I sold him for two, like 300,000 coins. Looks like he's up a little bit more. Um, if you're gonna, yeah, basically just have fun with the game. If you want to try a card out, a bomb yang hazard, uh, wait for hazard SBC to come out to try that card, of course. But, um, yeah, if you're gonna have fun with the game right now, don't worry about your coins, all right? Just don't worry about your coins. Even primer icons have dipped because people are selling their coins into these SBCs. Look at this 5.2 million for Ronaldinho. 
that's low. Primer Hullet, under 10 million coins. A week ago, that would have been insta binned. This card would have been like insta binned at, at 9.99. Fresh first owner, tradable. I'm surprised I haven't seen a Primer R9 on the market yet. So again, like I want to try this Eusebio card. He's not dropping at all at the moment. But that's just the way it is, boys, all right? That's what I want to get on this video and talk to you guys about today, though. Have fun with the game. Um, like I'm going to go play some some uh, Division Rivals right now so that I can get some Rivals points. Um, but have fun with the game right now. Like You see the squad that I have right now. I just finished Maldini. I have Lala. I bought Lala for um, 475k. It was a great deal at the time. That was like a month ago, all right? A month and a half ago. He has since dropped in price. He's now at 92K that we looked at. Just don't worry about it. If you're losing a ton of coins on cards, if you have no coins and you want to sell a couple of them just to get a few coins, by all means do that. But I, I wouldn't just see the prices dropping and go sell everything, you know? If it's a card that you use, continue to use it. This Mbappe and this Neymar are not leaving my team for the rest of the year. I'm now officially losing coins on this on this Mbappe. I bought him for 3-4. And I'm probably going to end up losing coins on this Neymar as well. But I'm not I'm not selling this card, you know. I'm not selling this card through the end of the game. So that's, you know, 8 million coins that I have right there sitting in my club. But I'm not going to sell it. And hopefully you guys have reached a point where some of your cards are untradeable as well. If you're still playing this game, if you still care about this game, that's awesome. Now it's time to have fun. This is like a World Cup mode-esque market crash. Like this is literally like World Cup mode almost. So I hopefully... This is my last hope. EA, please keep this pack weight the same and give us the 81 plus upgrades. Um, that would, if we see those upgrade packs today, um, I might not play weekend league. I might do those packs all freaking weekend. I will have no coins after that and I won't be able to try any players, but that's okay. Those packs are going to be awesome. So if you think those upgrade packs are coming, maybe get on the transfer market and uh, get a couple rare golds for, for cheap. Like, how much are Prem Rare Golds? Can you buy a Prem Rare Gold for 750 coins? It does not look like it. All right, there's a few at the back. So maybe just get on here and stock your club with some of those Rare Gold cards if you don't have them already. That's just a very far off precaution, just in case they drop upgrade packs. But again, boys, this market is insane. It's crazy. It's the end of the year. There's a month left of the game. EA is doing this correctly. Thank you, EA, for doing this. We appreciate you. Um, and yeah, boys, have fun ripping packs. Tweet me your pack polls. My Twitter link is below in the description. Always check that out. Tweet me your pack polls, and I will be ripping packs live on Twitch um, all weekend. That link is also down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.